Welcome to the new tutorial on Applied Motion Products Ethernet IP Devices with Schneider PLC. So as an example, I have TXM34X3B IP which is Steps Servo Integrated Motor communicating with Schneider PLC M251. So these two devices are connected through the unmanaged Ethernet switch. I am using Ethernet port number 2 on Schneider PLC to communicate. My laptop is also connected on Ethernet switch. User need to make sure that all of these devices inside the network have sub same subnet. So here is the physical connection of the tutorial video. I have TXM34X3B integrated step servo motor, 24 VDC power supply to the motor and the COM1 we are using the Ethernet cable to communicate. Ethernet port 2 on a Schneider PLC M251 is connected to the unmanaged switch. So these two devices plus my laptop are connected to the unmanaged Ethernet switch. Now download the application node and EDS file. So go to the applied motion product website and then click on support and then application nodes. You will need application node 62 so download it. Then I have a device TXM34X3B-IP So go to the device product page and then scroll down when you see the EDS file download it So we downloaded the EDS file and the application node. So what do we have inside the application node? So right click and extract all. We have a PDF file which is a user guide how a user can create a program from scratch inside the machine export. Then we have an example program with the, all the details inside the program. And then we have a compiled library and a basic library that user will need to install in the program. That is the end of the first part of our tutorial. 